Here's one for you right here. Yes, it is. A 19, what year is it, Don? 1959. A 1959 Corvette, you guys. Behold the glory of this. Yes, we love classic cars, but you know what we love even more? Is when they have an incredible story to tell. I mean, seriously, not joking around. Call 911! Joyride is brought to you by Holiday Jubilee and Addicted to Americana. Whoa, there it goes. I know. Look at that spellbinding styling, hypnotizing, mesmerizing, and out of this world. It's like a Motorama show car come to life. My father bought this car new and had it for a little while. Drove my mother insane because I was a baby at the time. And she's like, I cannot get a two year old in and out of this car. You are getting rid of this car. Sold it, you know, not such a great idea, but doesn't matter because I've had it longer than he ever had it. He got it new in 59, he sold it. That person had it for 25 years and I've had it for 31 years. And maybe I'll reveal to you now maybe who, who my dad was. Whoa. Bella and Ranger. Legendary Hollywood movie star, television star, and pop culture icon, the Lone Ranger Clayton Moore. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the original owner, and Dawn is the daughter of Clayton Moore. So I can't imagine like Clayton Moore, the Lone Ranger, driving this car around. He not only drove it around, he left the top, hard top on because he didn't want to mess up his hair. He made certain it did not have a radio, which you'll notice there is no antenna. He had actually had that removed because why? He actually did his rehearsal in the car, repeating his lines. He said, I can't listen to the radio and do my lines at the same time. So the radio is also removed from the inside of the car as well. So the all and dad being the big negotiator said, well, if I'm not having that stuff, then you need to hmm, add a second rear view mirror. So there's matching rear view mirrors because dad thought that was the big negotiation. So you said this car was also owned by a secretary at the Beverly Hills Hotel for a time? Oh my darling, she was no secretary. My father's cousin actually was the social director of the Beverly Hills Hotel during the glory years of the 50s and 60s. How much do we love this picture, you guys? It's Clayton Moore's cousin, the social director of the Beverly Hills Hotel. Look at the style of that space age splendor. Where do we begin to behold the glory? It's almost too much for me to take the glory that is this Corvette. First of all, how much do you love that taillight right there? Look at this bumper the way it wraps all the way around, the exhaust port right there. And how about this beautiful, in case you forget what kind of car you're driving, yes, it is a Chevrolet Corvette. Rare is the day you're ever gonna find one with a luggage rack like that. Have we had a serious talk, you guys, about the spinner wheel covers? Where do we begin? Not to mention, look at the gorgeous shape of this roof line. How much do you love the roof line? I know. Cove alert. Generally, they are a separate color. This one is solid red on red on red. The little racing flag right here. The Corvette trademark right there. Corvette is a winner every day in every way. Look at these gorgeous headlights right here. I love the shape of the bumper right there. The grill is pure Motorama show car. 100%, wow, they're pretty sharp too, I know. And of course, the air intakes right here that are, well, fake. I didn't know until now, because I don't really hang out with Corvettes like this, you guys. They are rare, and this is super rare. Red on red on red on red. Okay, are you guys ready for some interior divine divinity of all time? 
First of all, look at the door panel. How much do you love? Look at that little waffle pattern there. How about doorknob? It gives doorknob a whole new meaning. I know. And those two lights right there, almost like the tail lights that were to come. Bucket seats. How much do we all love a gorgeous original interior? Behold the glory of this lipstick red inside and out. The steering wheel is ready for its close up. Isn't it? I know. There's the tachometer right there. The speedometer, 160 miles an hour. Can you see that? You can. Look at these gorgeous gauges. Oh, yeah. That is a Power Glide four speed transmission. Again, that knob. It's always time for a Corvette. Radio Delete. Instead, you get the ultimate classic automotive font of all time a grab bar in case the person who's driving is going too fast and you need to hold on. And of course, you always have the gentle reminder of this fine mark of automobile, Chevrolet Corvette. Lest you never forget. Look at, even the base of the mirror is magical. Another one of my favorite details is look how the door panel design goes in to the kick panel right there. And of course, how much do we love a red headliner? I know. We might as well just get it out in the open. This 1959 Corvette is more than a classic car, more than a mid-century modern motoring masterpiece. This 1959 Corvette is an out of this world class national treasure. Behold the glory. Thank you, Don. Thanks for watching Joyride, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe right down there because there are plenty more classic cars to experience. I know, and how much do we all love classic cars? Also, I want you to know I'm available at your service to send personal greetings. Happy birthday to you, happy anniversary, happy new classic car, or whatever it is on Cameo right now. Also, check out my new website. It's charlesphoenix.com. Joyride has been brought to you by Holiday Jubilee and Addicted to Americana. Colorful coffee table books make great gifts. Order your signed copies now at charlesphoenix.com. We ship worldwide.